Hey guys, welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. I have my fingers crossed that I got my frame rate issue sorted out. I just disabled the V-Sync in the game and forced it on my uh, my catalyst control panel thingy, and it seems to be running a lot better now. I mean, of course, the game still chugs at times. I do have a Core i7 3570K. I don't know, 35 something or 37 something K. It's like a, a pretty high end processor, so should be able to handle this game without too much problem but uh, I guess I don't this is only a 32 bit game and so when there's too much crap going on it just kinda doesn't very efficiently utilize the resources that it has available as you see though I've installed a bunch of key thing stuff a bunch of other mods too that will go through as time goes on um, but getting ready to really ratchet the, sp the space program up um, this is my same launch rocket that I used to launch my ISA satellite into orbit, so I'm going to theoretically be able to get this into a similar orbit. At least this thing could get a satellite into the orbit of the moon or Minmus, I assume. So I believe this is constructed correctly. I put this utility thingy on, which is the survey unit. Um, the only difference between these two is like the effective altitudes and the power consumption, but this one looks like it will scan more effectively so I'm willing to put on some extra batteries and whatnot to try to see if we can make this work now we're just gonna launch this into Kerbin orbit first because I want to see how this thing even works before we go through all the trouble sending anything out further into space did I click the launch button here no I I didn't there we go I did that time I don't know why that I thought I did all right, so I can get rid of this stuff. I've been messing around with space planes a little bit. Um, let's get the ascent guidance turned on for this. I'm gonna go with a, it needs to be a 90 degree orbit because we need a polar orbit. We'll start off with a 100 kilometer one. We can go ahead and change that. Now, what stage do I want it to stop at? Which stage is which? I think we can stop at stage one. I don't want it to accidentally fire that last stage off. All right, so this thing, looks pretty much ready to go I think I'm gonna engage the old autopilot and as you see I got a plane over there on the runway I should have probably gotten rid of that but it doesn't matter so the throttles up everything looks good main engine start and we are off on our merry little way a little bit wobbly but what are you gonna do now, do I actually actually I have to hit it? Yeah, I do have to activate the detector. Okay. Just curious how this thing is actually going to work. Did I edit the ascent path? Looks like it's on a very... Yeah, it still remembered my ascent settings more or less from last time. So hopefully that will work out. Let's get... Which one of these gives me the information? I'm still learning about MechJeb here. Oh, it looks like it's actually saving my my uh my settings now I'll leave this up this custom window here looks like this that went perfect cool I've only used this rocket twice maybe so still not real sure of its capabilities looks like it's getting some decent acceleration I like watching the, uh, the weight of the thing go down. Uh, let's get a different custom window up here. Let's get a new window. And what sort of information do I want on it? I don't want vessel info. That stuff would probably be kind of useful, but actually I'll screw around with that later. I don't feel like... I don't feel like dealing with that right now. How are we doing here? Getting our northerly direction going. Sorry it's dark. I seem to be launching at night a lot of the time lately. That's kind of a shame. I should probably wait till the morning. Not that it really makes that much of a difference, but it does kind of bother me. I like the nighting the night lighting effects. The nighting effects. I like the nighting effects. Are we slowing down here? What is going on? I seem to be getting a little bit low on the fuel. Alright, we'll be alright though. 
I don't want to have to use that nuclear engine to get all the way up into orbit. It's fine for finalizing the orbit and making adjustments to the orbit, but I don't want to have to actually be lifting with that thing because it's not the best. This rocket really can't lift much more than a satellite into orbit. Take our resources up so I can kind of see what the heck's going on here. When we send these out to the moon, I'll probably double up. I'll send both satellites at the same time. It's going to be one of my next projects to get, to get going. I just want to figure out how this key thing stuff works, how much power it actually requires before I actually start sending stuff off to the... Uh, Alright, that stage is toast. Before we actually start sending stuff off to the moon or anything, because it's a lot easier to do it here. So I'm doing all this testing up here. I've already made some changes to my bases and stuff that will come into play later. So now Mech Jeb's just gonna figure out what it needs to do to circularize the orbit, I believe. Right, Mech Jeb? Mm, yep, yep, there it goes. And what I'll probably do is just use this thing to boost my orbit up the rest of the way. Um this thing has an effective range of it's set at like a million kilometers, I think. I'm probably gonna be a little more conservative than that because we're not gonna be able to scan I mean, we're not going to be able to be in an orbit like that around the, the moon, I don't think, and definitely not a Minmus, so I'll probably set it for more like a 600,000 kilometer orbit and see how that goes. I don't know, I, I mean, I guess I could use the ISA satellite to get the information in the little wiki that it has to find out the uh, maximum orbits you can do and stuff. That's pretty. Nice little sun coming through the atmosphere there. We should have a sunrise in a second here. That ought to be nifty. Alright, come on. Yeah, things seem to be running a lot better. I'm still only getting like in the 20s for frame rate when I'm recording, but it, it's a lot better than it was. It's not a slideshow anymore. I'm sure when I have some of the big stuff like a space station and stuff going, it's probably gonna get pretty ugly but it's a lot better there we go sun is on look at that that is pretty in fact I'm gonna take a screenshot of that because I like it so much so I've been, I take a lot of screenshots in this game it's a lot of really pretty stuff I'm a sucker for space stuff anyway Alright, so what did I... Oh, that's nice. The orbits are going to be kind of opposite. That almost makes me want to put it into a similar orbit. So that one's at 400,000. Um, hmm. Yeah, let's go for the 600 mark here. That ought to work out just fine. And... Go! Oh, God. Mech Jeb, what are you doing? Mech Jeb! This orbit's gonna get all screwed up. I should have probably made sure I was on target before I hit the burn button there. That was a little unfortunate. What what are you doing here? Alright, I don't think it screwed up the orbit too much. I should put up a relay... A, a system of relay satellites, communication satellites before I really get my moon stuff going. I know you don't need them, but I don't know, I just kind of feel like I should have them. It's too bad those aren't at right angles to each other. I should have figured out how to get those to right angles to each other. I would have liked that. I'm sure I could use the maneuver planner to do it, but it's not worth the trouble. If I had timed the launch right, I probably could have easily done that, but oh well. Now... We should be doing a little bit of time warping. MechJeb makes this stuff so much like, you know, you do satellite insertions and stuff. I don't feel like doing these manually. Now I'm up to 60 frames. I don't know. I guess I got far enough away from the planet that everything's fine again. But yeah, it makes uh, these sort of like routine things a lot more fun. I'm still learning how to use it. There's a lot of things that are useful for it. I still do a lot of manual piloting too, but... Is that the South Pole or is that the North Pole? I should be able to recognize it. 
That must be the South Pole. Yeah, it is, because it looked different than what I'm used to. I've been spending a lot of time up at the North Pole, so I kind of got an idea of what that looks like. I don't really see Kerbin from this angle often. I like that little continent there, or whatever it is. That's pretty nifty. Alright, so I'm going to see how satisfied I am with my orbit. There's tons of fuel left, so... If I need to make adjustments, I can. Maybe I'll just put it out to a million, because that's the maximum range. Like, I don't know. Let's see what we got here. How could I move that orbit? I think I want to do it at like this point here and I would add a maneuver and I want to go I want the orbit to move that way so I wouldn't want to burn no that just changes hmm well, I want to stay in the 90 degree I think I would have needed to launch at a different time in order to do that without complicated maneuvers this would probably take a lot of maneuvering to get it fixed so we'll call that good now before I forget, let's go ahead and deploy our solar panels here. And for no real reason, I put some communitrons on here. Just because it makes it more satellite-y. And we can close this thing now. And I have control of the spacecraft again. Cool. Now, for whatever reason, I always like to kind of eject the satellites into their orbits because... It kind of, I don't know, it makes sense to me. So, we're going to go the direction we're heading here and launch this bad boy. If I can get this thing to move. Holy crap. Did I put RCS on this thing? I did not. I did not. That is a darn shame, I tell you. A darn shame. close enough and everything looks good we got our panels deployed let's go ahead and separate here go ahead and activate the detector now how exactly is this thing gonna work here let's show it doesn't have the nice little ISA button does it so this is gonna do its thing here I guess how long is this gonna take a little bit of it probably doesn't do it past times four time warp either, does it? The ship is not under acceleration. What are you talking about? Is it even map? Yeah, I guess it is. There's like a thin sliver of something that's been mapped there. That's horrible. This is going to take like a billion years to do. Ugh. That's even, like, worse than the ISA satellite was. Well, let's go ahead and get out of here. Let's deorbit this thing, because I don't like to leave space junk lying around as much as possible. I mean, obviously, I've had a good number of crashes, and sometimes I can't really avoid it. But try to keep the curb in orbit at least a little bit clear of stuff. Just cause it kind of bugs me having tons of this crap, crap going around. And there's tons of fuel left in this thing, so not going to be a problem. This thing would easily make it to the moon and stuff. I don't think I could quite make anything into orbit of uh, Eve or uh, what's the other one? Duna or whatever. I don't think I could quite make it with that. Probably need more fuel but it's good for right around Kerbin where we're doing stuff at first here. Alright let's get this bad boy deorbited. Wait to see the apoapsis fall here, or the periapsis, I should say. This is exactly how I launched the ISA satellite as well. It's pretty, pretty typical. I'm gonna look into doing a comm satellite network just for fun at some point soon. I'll probably just show like one or two of those launches because they're not gonna, they're all gonna be the same. It's probably good enough. Just don't want it crashing into anything up at the pole, which I don't think it probably would anyway, but. And I apparently need to go back to the space center. 
get up tracking which one is which that's on suborbital this one is the regular satellite all right let's take a look at that map again is this thing still active yeah it's still active i'm not hearing the sound is it because it's facing away from the planet do i have to like manually turn this thing that's gonna be annoying that's why i'm trying this stuff out now before we get all the way out to the, the moon i just want to figure out how this stuff works oh, i probably have to i have to reactivate this thing don't yep that's the problem it's not like the ISA satellite that just stays active. Alright, well, I'm going to give this a couple orbits and see what happens with it. I'll be back next time with something else. See you guys next time.